assume the crash position. Hold on tight. Take a deep breath for a cartoon cramaganza. Take you inside and turn the pages. Here are your hosts, Henry and June. Greetings, Kablam fans. I'm June. And you guessed it, I'm Henry. You know, Henry, I don't know where we'd be without our legions of loyal fans. I do. Cancelled. And that's why we're proud to introduce our Viewer of the Month Award. It's our way of saying, muchas gracias. And now, live via satellite, our first winner. Somebody who represents the very best a Kablam viewer can be. Louis Tannenbaum of Ossining, New York. Thanks, Henry. Or can I call you Henroid? <laughs> hey, big up to my man, Mr. Foot. Sir, you rip. <laughs> I tell you, man, when you're serving 10 to 20 for Grand Theft Auto, Kablam really helps the time go by. Hey, check this out. Okay, convict, time's up. Back off, Jack. I'm talking to Kablam. Hey, where's your studio at? When I get out of here, I'll come see you. I got more tattoos I can't show on TV. Well, there you have it. Our first and last viewer of the month. Here's our first cartoon. Bargain hunter in the Tri County area. My fishing buddy fondue. Who? Who was this? It's my brand new, previously owned computer. Perfect for organizing the family budget, planning menus, making lists. Fruits on that. Let's do something we can both enjoy, like sword play with pointed sticks. I don't have time for this. Now get lost. I'm booting up. Color me out of here, and let me just add that you have your priorities all screwed up. I'm in! Rock the Casbah! I'm in! Ah, oh, fruits. I just remembered. I don't know how to use a computer. This thing is totally useless. Hey, this looks like solitaire. Maybe it's not totally useless. Fruit sorbet. I lost. Play again? You mean no messy shuffling? Hallelujah! been up all night. What's with the computer, duder? If I tell that little snorer what I'm really doing, he'll want to play. He'll hog it, and I'll never get to play again. I so hate selfish people. I've been working to organize our domestic bliss with technology. Hmm, let's see, red queen on black king. Well, give it a rest, you silly gosling. Today's the day we've been waiting a lifetime for. Oh, uh, go on without me. Uh, I'll catch up later. Catch up? How is somebody catching? 
catch up when you're going deep sea. Snap me down. I got a nibble. Uh-oh, I got a tinkle. Maybe... just one more game. That's funny. I don't have to go anymore. I'm warning you, burglar. I'm calling the cops. Just as soon as I finish this game. No more. I want to stop. I'm tired of solitaire. Oh, if only I hadn't been so selfish. Then Sniz would be suffering instead of me. Fondue is going to Jones proper when he sees the catch du jour of the day. <laughs> Unlawful entry. Sports medicine. <laughs> I mean, what speed? Thanks, Niz. You lifted the curse. You saved me. For roots on that. If you're gonna play games, you're gonna play them with me. But it's solitaire, as in solitary. You can't play with anybody else. In fact, I can't play at all anymore. Unless. Snush. I lost. Would you like to play again? Press here. Yes, computer. I would. You're the best, Nizzy Baby. Now that's what I call kablamertainment. You said it, Hanksky. Almost as kablamertaining as the newest Broadway sensation, Kablamo Musical! Martina Hingis calls it a dazzling spectacle of sight and sound. But don't take a Wimbledon champion's word for it. See for yourself. From the moment they flip down onto the page, you can see just why Kablam is all the rage. We're Henry and June, in between each cartoon. I make his temper shoot straight to the moon. June, when will you start acting your age? Ah, uh, pish posh, Henry, just turn the page! They're turning the page. Yes, they're turning the page. Those two delightful scams who make a plan all the rage are turning the page. Kablam the musical! Now and forever. At the Brooks Robinson Theater. Dateline, Attic Museum of Ancient History, where a brilliant bauble is blatantly burgled. <laughs> I'll be rich, richer than Merv Griffin. The next day. Blast it! That opal was a national treasure. Lab guy, analysis! In layman's terms, it got ripped off. We're just lucky he didn't open that sarcophagus and trigger the mummy's curse. Hey, there's a dead guy in here. No, I was afraid of this. You've awakened the spirit of the undead. Run while you still can. I'm not afraid of any mummy's curse. But I, I just remembered I have a dentist appointment. Me too. Yeah. Later. Bye. Ha! What a bunch of Brady cats. Action League, now. Today's episode, Rags to Riches. With the whereabouts of the hijacked gem unknown, our heroes make a crucial discovery. I found it! The opal? The remote! Let's watch Oprah! No, Scooby rerun! Moesha! Meanwhile, at Action Headquarters... If we don't recover that jewel, We'll be in more trouble than a round peg at a square dance. Frankly, I'm worried. Frankly, I'd be more worried about the mummy's curse. Will you cut it with that mummy mumbo jumbo? 
You're right, I'm being foolish. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm late for a uh, dentist appointment. Oh, sure! Just run away when you're losing the argument! Uh... And so, as a marauding mummy searches for vengeance, the Action League searches for something to watch. For a limited time only, you could buy your very own Egyptian opal, just like the kind you find in, er, uh, museums. It's the mayor! And he's got the opal! And look, it's that mummy person! Uh. Crikey! It lives! Uh. Eat cold steel, Band-Aid boy! Thunder Girl fighting the mommy. Then again, maybe not. Hey, mister, I'm so dead and you're not. I'm about to get mad. <laughs> okay, I'm mad. Miffed mummy make mincemeat out of our zeros, I mean heroes. Will the mayor make a million on a museum marvel? Quantities are limited. Order now. Find out in the action swiped conclusion of Action League Now. Go wake your Grammy. There's more Kablammy. Still to come, Prometheus and Bob. Life with Loopy. And when we return, more Action League now, right here on Kablam! Action League now. A jewel taken, a mummy awakened. As a familiar foe auctions off an opal, an enraged relic takes on the wuss squad. Help! 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 Not 99, not 89 but just 79 cents. Uh, uh, Mimey, the mummy wants the opal he saw on the telly. Let's follow him from a safe distance. No one throws the flesh into pottery and gets away with it. Ouchies! Did I say 69 cents? 59 cents, if you call now. Uh, okay, for you only 49 cents. Up there, the opal. Opal schmopal. We must get the mummy back into her sarcophagus and then recite the incantation. Okay, make me your best offer. I got it. Keep away from King Tut. Got it. You want a tape head? Go get it. Owa, Tajer, Kayam. Now he can sleep another 3,000 years. All right! We did it! Boy, that mummy packs a wallop. I owe you an apology. I should have listened to you. Uh, Chief? No, no, I can admit when I'm wrong. You know what my problem is? I just don't listen. I've got you now, Mr. Mummy. Ah! Flash! It's me! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> End. Ooh, I hate that mayor. Lousy, no good villain. I wish they'd take all the villains and shred them into a fine mulch. Good idea, June. Or is it? You see, villains play a crucial role in the world of superheroes. In fact, without villains, there wouldn't be any heroes. Allow me to demonstrate with this special villain-free clip from Action League Now. Dateline, Action Headquarters. The end. Pretty dull, huh? Okay. Can we move on? The villain, or antagonist, as he's sometimes called, commits loathsome deeds that the hero must overcome. Could the... Um, antagonist be some pompous windbag who's cutting into our cartoon cramming time? Now you're catching on. The antagonist can be anyone who... <gasps> ah! Nobody likes a know-it-all, but everybody likes our next cartoon. Here's Prometheus and Bob. 
900,000 years ago, an alien videotaped his attempts to educate a caveman, the Prometheus and Bob tapes. Tape number 65, Ball. Hey. Hmm? Hey, me. Huh? Hey. Hey! Historic ascent to the top of the page. Whoa! Sure, it's dangerous, but we couldn't resist the call of the summit. We're on our last tank of oxygen, Henry. Oh. I can't go on much longer. Stay with me, June. Focus on the peak. Focus! Just a little farther, and we. Don't you have someplace else to be? Hi, Larry here. You're not gonna believe this, but just five minutes ago, our planet was on the verge of total annihilation. In fact, if it wasn't for me, well, let me tell you what happened. Earlier tonight, I was trying to pick up foreign stations on my shortwave radio, when suddenly I started receiving a weird signal. Hey, Loopy, come and listen to this. The frequency is too high to be coming from anywhere on Earth. It must be a message from outer space. Wait, that sounds kind of familiar. Let's try slowing it down a little. <laughs> Woohoo! There is intelligent life out there. This is Larry from Planet Earth. Do you read me? Over. Over. That won't work. You gotta speak their language. Ah. <laughs> Well, welcome, space travelers. Uh, we, we the people of the planet Earth bring greetings. Well, we the people of planet Earth bring a jumbo bag of munchies and a cooler full of fizzy pop. Where's the Earthling who sent us the message? Right here. Salutations, fellow Belcher. Uh, 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 uh. 
What's so great about burping anyway? What's so great? Don't be a dingbat. It's the reason we're all here, mate. You see, 60 billion years ago, this entire galaxy was set in motion by humongous burp reverberating out from a central point in the universe. We call it the Big Burp Theory. Only the most advanced creatures in the cosmos truly understand it. That's why when you responded to our signal, we knew that your planet was worth a visit. So what are we waiting for? Let's get this party started. <laughs> Yep, it was the party of a lifetime. The only bummer was, no matter how hard I tried, I was still having trouble communicating. Well, Loopy, we really are taken with your little planet. I think our people are gonna love it here. You mean there's more of you? 50 billion more to be exact. Up there in the mothership, just waiting for our signal to come on down and join the fun. We've been looking for a place like this to colonize for eons. Uh, cool. But what's wrong with your planet? Well, it's completely trashed, isn't it? A hundred thousand centuries of non-stop partying have reduced our planet to rubble. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, maybe this isn't such a good idea. European scout to mothership? No! Ah, now you're being a party pooper. Our party was beginning to look like a close encounter of the worst kind. But just then, I finally started to feel the effects of the soda gas bubbling up inside of me. Problem was, when it finally popped out, I was speaking the wrong language. Disgusting! And we thought you lot were a civilized species. Sorry, Loop. Couldn't possibly share a planet with people what's capable of that kind of behaviour. Come on, mate. Back to the mothership. And so, thanks to yours truly, the alien forces were defeated. Once more, the people of Earth can breathe easily. Well, most of them, anyway. P.U. Well, June, this show certainly has been cartoon crammed. As advertised, Henry. Before we go, we're proud to introduce a brand new feature here on Kablam, the Mystery Page Turner. The Mystery Page Turner is Benjamin Franklin. Okay, Henry, let's see if we can guess his identity. I'll start. Are you Wesley Snipes? Oh, oh, oh. No, though I enjoyed his work in Money Train. Are you in a sitcom? No. Moesha! No. Are you a rap artist? I think not. I know. You're a supermodel. No. Well, you must do something. Yes, I have done a few things. I invented the lightning rod. I wrote Poor Richard's Almanac. My picture's on the $100 bill. Wait, do you wear those little glasses? Yes. We are so dumb. Of course. Elton John! That's it. Johnny Cochran? Tia Carrera. I know. Martina Hingis. Al Hurt. Lenny Kravitz. James Brolin. Join us again next time. Same Kablam time, same Kablam network. <laughs> <laughs>